All right. All right. Welcome, guys. Okay. So to typically, uh, I'm usually in the, um, in the Ryzen dashboard and the Ryzen platform to basically go ahead and show you guys little tools and tricks as far as the amazingness of Ryzen has. But today, I want to kind of make it something a little bit. If you can't hear me, that's because I didn't have my mic right where it's supposed to be, which is next to me. Um, but obviously, just go ahead and quick recap. I'm going to go ahead and be discussing as far as this new tool that we just started implementing in our business. Now, to basically set the context, right? Um, me and the team just had a meeting today, right? And we, we're having a hundred, we're having hundreds of leads. We're having hundreds of people request information, um, on getting more information on the rising platform. And I was like, I am a data guy, but for some reason I haven't been tracking the data. So I was like, you know what? Let's go see where everyone is coming from. Right. And we had a mix of things. We had people coming from Facebook, which were running ads on Facebook. So we had people come from Facebook, we had people come from YouTube, we had people come from Google, we had people come from, uh, our Google search, Google search net partners. And how we know it's Google search partners is because um, you can reuse UTM tracking. Which UTM tracking? You can build a uh, U URL to basically be able to track to see where your leads are coming from, right? Let me let me go ahead and give you guys an example here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and build a URL, just kind of an example to kind of show you what that's going to look like. I know this is kind of beyond the scope of this video, but let's say, for instance, you want to, you're running traffic, you're running ads, or you're running ads across different landing pages, right? But you want to know where um, each ad or each lead is coming from, right? So you can come up here and say um, google.com, for instance. And then campaign ID, um, you don't have to. It's not necessary. So for this, we'll say Google Ads, right? And campaign medium will be, you know, we're doing search. Okay, it can be search. It can be social, whatever it is. Campaign name, whatever you named your campaign. It could be, you know, uh, let's say ads launcher. And then you can put, go ahead and put that. The, the key things that you need here are basically the source, the medium, and the name. Reason why is this is what's going to happen is oh, it's not a valid URL. All right, fine, 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 fine. Okay, and now let's see yeah, how this loads. The website you're provided is not a valid URL, and that is because of. I'm going to go ahead and reload this, guys. I'm going to go ahead and reload this web page. So I can go ahead and start all over and you can go ahead and see the website URL, URL provided is not a valid URL. Um, campaign ID one, campaign term search. And now I'm just messing around, but okay. All right. So this is beyond the scope, but typically what would happen here is you go ahead and you would find a, there'd be a UTM, there'd be a code here and you can be able to see the URL to be able to track the URL. Um, and you'd be able to actually, um, uh, right here to be able to see where it comes from. I do apologize for that guys, but let's go ahead and go back into main reason why I was making this video, which was, all right. So now we're kind we're here, right now. Main thing, main reason why main, main key point I was driving at was this is you need to diversify your lead flow, right? It's very important. Something that used to be preached on in, in insurance, but it's not just diversify your lead flow. It's diversify your lead source, right? Your lead source is very, very important. So now, for instance, the reason why I want to say that is pay attention to the fact that in your business, wherever it may be, sometimes people are, people can find you from anywhere, right? So what most people do is they laser focus on one lead source. They go, I'm only going to run Facebook ads. But when you run Facebook ads, just only Facebook ads, here's what happens is you're missing out on cold prospects, right? You're missing out on cold emails. You're missing out on email marketing. You're missing out on, there's so much things you're missing out on, which means you have to diversify how people come into your pipeline. It's very important that you do that. So that is basically the scope of this video is, is, as far as the marketing strategies that we are doing, as far as to get clients into rise and to share that with you is we're running paid ads on Google. Okay. Um, we have, um, backlinks, which backlinks are just basically increase your domain authority. Um, as far as people across different websites are linking back to your website. So we use backlinks. That's two. Um, three, we're running ads across, uh, you know, Bing. I typically, 
I'm running ads, so I'm in charge of the advertising program, is I like to run ads where I typically am, right? Where I typically go, where I typically browse, where I typically, where I typically, you know, frequent. So YouTube, for instance, is another platform in which we're running ads. YouTube is owned by Google. The reason why I know most people are listening is like, oh man, you're all over the place. The reality is this is I just don't want to focus on Facebook and I don't recommend you do it because guess what? You could be running ads on Facebook today. Next thing you know, Facebook shuts down your ad account. What are you going to do? Now your pipeline is dry. But if you're running ads on Facebook, Google, Bing, you're getting, you're doing cold emails, you're doing cold outbound. There is no way in which your lead source can ever dry. There is absolutely zero ways in which you can ever dry. You can never, because when you can diversify how you acquire leads, it's almost automatically you're going to go ahead and uh, be able to, you know, keep a steady uh, stream of income. So this, let's go ahead and dive into this. So this tool is called D7 Lead Finder. So D7 Lead Finder is a B2B uh, lead generation tool, okay? So let's say, for instance, right, how it works is pretty simple. Is you go and you sign up. Um, I believe there's a free plan, and then there's also a few paid plans as well. I'm on the business, I'm on the agency plan, whatever the middle plan is. So what you do is you go ahead and choose a keyword, whatever your niche is, right? Let's say your niche is you are a um, you're looking for credit repair clients, right? Or you're looking for people with insurance. So you can come up here to keyword and just type credit repair. Okay. When you type credit repair, choose a city, choose the city that you're in. So let's say I want to run it for Charlotte. Okay. And then what's going to happen is you're going to go ahead and click get leads and then it's going to go ahead and generate your leads, right? Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and um, once, you, once you generate your lead, these are all public information. So what you go ahead and do is like, for instance, let's you view a life insurance um, data that we pulled. Now, the importance of this is this is this is what I want you guys to see. Here. Okay. So the data has been pulled, right? And now here's the most important things. All these businesses are pretty much listed on Google, right? So for instance, let's look at this. We have nationwide, right? Nationwide is a famous, is a famous insurance company. We all know nationwide, right? And obviously here we have the phone number. We have, you have the phone number and, uh, I have to log out now. Um, that was just a notification from, uh, I just got a notification from uh, team directors. Like I have something else to do. But I want to go ahead and finish this video before I go ahead and jump out. Is you have nationwide, you have the phone numbers here. You have the phone number here. You can call them. You have the email. You can get the email. You can come up here and click on your website. You can view the LinkedIn profile. You can view the Facebook page. You can also view the Instagram, the TikTok, Google. You can see the address. And if you upgrade, if you're on the premium plan, you can actually see the ads that you're actually running. Right. So you can use this data and you can see the reviews too. So you can use this data to your likeness. You can use this data to basically be able to get more B2B people for your business, right? You can go ahead and, because guess what else you can do? Once you get the email here, you can go ahead and upload it into Facebook as a custom, as, as a custom audience if you wanted to. And then you can also go ahead and run ads to, to this, but these are companies, right? So this is, this data is going to be useful if you're going to be cold calling, right? So if you're going to be cold calling, you can go ahead and use this data. If you're going to be cold email marketing, you can go ahead and use this data. I typically prefer cold email marketing to B2B businesses than I do B2C, okay? Because B2C, uh, which is business to consumer, is now you're dealing with a lot of personalities, man. And, and I like B2B because it's a business to a business. So it all depends, right? But may, I would say if you're looking for B2B leads, highly check out D7. I am not affiliated with them, okay? If you go to d7leadfinder.com, I am not, which I should go ahead and get affiliated with them. Probably will get affiliated with them. And then somewhere in the future, there's going to be a link in the description below for you to go ahead and sign up to go ahead and use this tool. But D7 Lead Finder, it's a phenomenal tool for you to generate B2B leads in your business. And for that, guys, that's all I have. Use this data as much as you want. Um, sign up for it. And I will say, enjoy.